Dear all, in this video, I'll be discussing about structure of power MOSFET. You can observe the structure of power MOSFET. I would like to explain the structure of power MOSFET in brief. First and foremost thing, the power MOSFET has vertically oriented four layer structure of alternating P and N type layers. You can observe over here, this is a vertical structure. Okay, as the structure concerned, we can observe a, a vertical structure. It is having N plus layer first, then P layer second, N minus layer, and finally N plus layer. Okay, this N plus layer that is repeating at the top and bottom side. We can observe the vertical structure in this manner. Okay, so this is the basic structure. Then, P type is the middle layer that is also called the body of power MOSFET. And also, the channel is formed between the source and the drain. Let us inspect where is the P layer or you can call body. So, this is actually the P layer. It is lies in between the source and the drain. Drain is available here. You can observe the source also. Source and drain. Okay. That is the middle actually. That is called body. This P layer is also called as body. Okay, moving on to the discussion. Moving on to the next layer, that is N minus layer. N minus layer is also called as drift layer. Okay, so let us point out where is N minus layer. As you can observe, this is N minus layer. Okay, so in case of N minus layer, we can call it as drift layer. So what are the peculiarities of drift layer? That means N minus layer that improves voltage handling capability of the device. That means it determines breakdown of breakdown voltage of the particular power MOSFET. In case of signal level MOSFET, there won't be N minus layer. So that is the difference between power MOSFET and the signal level MOSFET. In case of signal level MOSFET, you cannot able to observe N minus layer. Okay, that's the difference. What are the other speciality of N minus layer? N minus layer that improves the switching characteristics of the device. That means improves the switching frequency. Okay, this N minus layer has a peculiarity to enhance the switching frequency of the particular device. And also it improves the voltage, voltage handling capability of the device. So that's a speciality of N minus layer. It is also known as drift layer. Okay, N minus layer or you can call drift layer. I have written over here. Okay, you can note down this. And also, N minus layer is having less doped, or you can call it is a lightly doped layer. So let us inspect the diagram so that you will understand. I'll be showing the structure once again. So you can observe the N minus layer. So it is also called a drift layer. Obviously, it improves the voltage handling capability and the switching frequency of the device. But the problem is, if you increase the N minus layer, the thing is the power loss will be increased. That's a problem. Other than that, everything is fine. Okay. Now let us explain about what is N plus layer. What are the peculiarities of N plus layer? You can observe N plus layer is at the top side as well as bottom side. Okay. Now I wanted to explain some important information about N plus layer. See, source is attached in N plus layer. That means first and last both layers are that is n plus layer you can observe the first layer where is the first layer this is the obviously first layer this will be the last layer okay layer number one see you can see the layer one this will be the last layer just observe the marker which i am uh, making out over here so the first layer let it be the first layer okay this is the first layer and this will be the last layer okay so you can say that n plus layer that is actually at bottom as well as top layer. I mean first and last layer is made up of N plus layer. N plus layer is a highly doped layer. Okay. You can, you can, you may expect some kind of objective questions, which among the layer is highly doped. The answer is N plus layer. And N minus layer is less doped or lightly doped. Now let it, let me move, move and explain the discussion about the gate terminal. So as you know that gate is a control terminal. Okay.
okay in order to turn on power mosfet we have to apply vgs gate to source voltage has to be applied then only mosfet will be turned off so gate is a control device what are the speciality of the gate let us understand okay as far as the gate area concerned gate is connected to silicon dioxide layer okay gate is connected to sio2 sio2 means silicon diode you can observe sio2 see there will be always sio2 silicon sio2 okay silicon dioxide layer will be always present over there i have marked over here and the thickness of silicon dioxide is 1000 angstrom so 1 angstrom means is approximately equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter you can imagine you can able to calculate it 1000 angstrom means 1000 times 10 to the power minus 10 meter all right so this is about the thickness about you can imagine the thickness also how delicate it is how they are going to manufacture you can imagine so the gate terminal is isolated from the body by silicon dioxide layer okay see you can able to observe Uh, the gate oxide that will be separated from the body body means a p layer so gate layer and p layer that is separated by a oxide layer okay silicon this is actually the p body uh, this will be the gate area so that is isolated by using uh, silicon dioxide layer okay that is there is a silicon dioxide separation that will be always there this is a body and this will be the gate region there will be always an isolation that you have to remember when positive gate voltage is applied with respect to the source n minus type channel is formed between the source and drain so if you are applying the thing is if you are applying vgs there will be the movement of a separate channel so that drain current output current will be flowing through the device then the device will be conducting so without vgs gate source voltage the device never be operated okay this is another speciality here in the gate area there will be always a capacitance the gate area in this area gate you can observe the gate and the surroundings this is plate number 1 this will be the plate number 2 so in between there is a oxide layer field oxide there will be oxide layer so plate number 1 and this this must be plate number 2 that means two parallel plates separated by a dielectric medium that means there will be always a capacitance there will be always presence of gate capacitance in between here that you have to remember that is called the gate capacitance that's a speciality of power mosfet that i have written over the explanation you can observe so gate is connected to sio2 layer obviously this creates a capacitance okay so these are the basic information about uh, the structure of power mosfet so i have explained in brief so first of all let me conclude first of all i have explained about and it is having n plus p n minus n plus layer okay that i have explained then what is the peculiarity of body or p layer what is the speciality of n minus layer and what are the importance of n minus layer n minus layer is applicable only on uh, power mosfet not in the signal level mosfet later i explained about the importance of n plus layer it is a highly doped layer and finally i have talked about the gate so how the capacitance are formed in the region of gate and the gate is also called as control terminal okay so overall it is having a vertical structure and this is a basic information about structure of power mosfet hope you have got some information about the structure of power mosfet in the upcoming video i will be coming up with the explanation on working of power mosfet okay you will be i'll try to convince you the working of power mosfet in the upcoming session finally thank you very much for watching this video